Oh, hello, my friends. This was brought to me by my old friend Eddie. And uh, the lady that lives beside him out at the lakes bought this, uh, bought it at an auction. So let's just have a good look at it. I don't have a, I don't have a schmick. What's wrong with it? But we have to have, first of all see what's see what it's doing and see what it's not doing. There's oil sitting right in here. Okay. So that's telling a little story. I don't know what what it's saying yet. So I bet you the air filter is completely saturated with oil. Boy. <laughs> Okay, I've never seen an air filter like that, eh? Tray! Put that in a tray. Oh, that is unbelievable. Isn't that something? Like, that is heavy. It's like, it's like, you know, the, the dish rag at Christmas time when you're doing the dishes. Okay. She's just dripping oil. Well, I guess, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm going to just pull this slowly, not fast. Or it could be a loose blade, right? Let's check the oil. Oh, it's over full of Are you with me? There's the full right there and the oil is filled up to here. So the first thing we're going to do is take some of that oil out of there. And I am probably going to have to spill some. Whoa. I don't know how much to take out. I know. Use your brain, Bruce. I don't think there's any easy way around this. <clears throat> I'm just going to pour the oil into this pail. And give it a little white. Unplug the spark plug first, of course, all right. Oh, I know what the noise was. It's hit, it's, it's got dried broccoli. So we're going to just wait and see how much oil comes out of there. And I have a suspicion it's going to be exactly a liter. It's still coming out, man. Let me get a light. Use the light, Bruce. Look at that. Oh, and it's brand new. I think we're going to give this lawn more a presence and put in exactly the right amount of oil. Oh, it's going to smoke when I start it up. I also want to show you something else while it's doing this. Pardon me. Okay, look down here. That's what it's hitting. So while, while it's laying on its side, I'm just going to get 90% of that broccoli out of that. And Nick, you're going to be proud of me, buddy. A little stool set on low. You guys in the UK probably don't 
see uh, grass clippings this dry. Good. Okay, now we're going to see how much oil is still coming out of there. A little bit of gas, don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, we have to do this in a sequence, right? Okay, I think it's almost finished draining. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and and uh, we're going to put some oil back into this thing. Did I turn you off? No, I didn't. Okay, there we are. It's just leaning up against my wall. And this thing is, hold, is, is holding more than a liter of oil. And they only hold a half a liter or half a quart, I guess. And there's been more than at least, I'd say, another cup, cup and a half spilt all over the place. There. Usually they survive this, uh, but there's a lot of splashing and stuff going on in there, eh? So now I'm going to just pull the cord on the mower a few times, just to see how it feels. I might even take the, yes, I'll take the spark plug out and we'll make it puke out into the alley. That's a good idea. Walk this way. One moment, please. Okay, let's get this plug out of here. Not that bad. I'm just going to pull the rope now and see how it feels. It's going to have no compression, right? Well, it's not banging anymore. That's a good sign. So I'm going to put the uh, spark plug back in. What is it? RJ19HX, my nemesis, but it might work for now. I don't like these HX plugs. I don't like anything. Okay, we're going to have to get some oil back into this guy. They take a half a liter, right? Ah, come on, Bruce. There we go. So I'm going to just pour out a, get a half a liter and I'll be right back. Alright, I got a half a liter of oil here. I'll just throw that in there. And I'm going to not I'll just wait till it pours out, and that'll be good. I'll let that settle out, and we'll check it. <laughs> Crazy. All right, I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to make the muffler face the other way. There. Can you get a good shot of that without getting splattered yourself? Oh, I think so. Let's try it. <clears throat> well, there we go.
I'm just thinking it's been so clogged with oil. It needs a little bit of love now. did check the gas. So you guys know how it goes. I was just cleaning up this uh, very nice quantum platinum craftsman. And uh, I thought, you know, I'd better just make sure there's no water in the, bear, in the, in the bowl. Eh? So I took the bowl out and there, there was the Welch plug from the carburetor had fallen in there. And that's where that little piece of dirt is, was underneath the, the Welch plug. So a welch plug is just a, a little piece of aluminum that covers a hole to keep gas from rushing in or rushing out or not coming out at all. So now I think I'm going to, because my conscience won't let me get away with it, I'm going to just take that uh, carburetor off and put that welch plug back on. So the next time you see me, I'll have that. It's not a big job. It's just, you know, do you... Do you wreck the bowl seal and another three dollars or four dollars? You know, that's all it is, right? So I'm just wiping the bowl up now. Nice and shiny. And jet. And I'll just shoot a little air through there. Can I see through there? Yes. Good. So I'm just going to pop that carburetor off there and I'll show you what it looks like to put a welch plug on. <laughs> I know, right? And the lighting is bad when the door is open, so I'll try not to do too much of that. 
It just keeps getting more interesting. Uh, this just fell off when I took the two screws off. But it's, it's the automatic choke one, so we don't have to worry about this, this gasket being absolutely pristine. This gasket right there, the, around there. They use the same one on the primer as the automatic choke, but these ones don't use the little hole. Thanks. Okay, here's the carburetor. I'm just going to blow the goo off of it with air. Forgive me. Okay, here we go. Pin out. Float. Needle out. Aha! Right here. Right there. There's a there's a uh, Welch plug missing. Right in there. So we're going to stick it in my wood vise. So it doesn't get chewed up. I know I can get uh, soft teeth for my other vice, but this is just perfect. And this is going to fit in here absolutely perfectly, eh? I think. I guess this makes this interesting, doesn't it? It's in. Now I'm just going to whack it with a punch. You guys get your set up here so you can see. Now, I don't think this is one that's sealed, because there's a vent. Where are we? Right here? There. And my friend Dennis gave me these. I think I'm going to use a non-tapered one. And we'll just give it a, just give it a low tap. Because I can't talk like that anymore, eh? Now we'll just test it. I think that's not going to come out. And I might put a new bowl seal on there if I can if I can get this crap off here, maybe not. Oh no, it might be all right. Good. Dump that in some fuel. Dump that in some fuel. And put that back in there. Yes. Take that happy little float bowl needle. Are you guys getting any of this? I have to get the lens up here. There we go. So you know, it wasn't running crisp. And there just might have been a little bit too much gas going up that... going up instead of down that uh, hole for the uh, emulsion tube. Now I'm going to just test this quickly. Oh man, it's not easy being Bruce, you know. Yeah, it's good. Okay, where is said carburetor? Well, that didn't cost me anything but a half an hour. And 15 bend overs. Brush this. Everything's got just a little bit of schmoo on it, eh? Ethanol. Our old buddy. Okay, I'm just going to throw this carburetor back onto the machine. So, first, the throttle 
Oh, do we have our rubber seal? Yes, we do. Our throttle from the governor. I want governor. Good. And then I think I'm going to screw it down with the bolts. Bolt screw a rubber screw downer. Not going. I'll line it up with the easy one. Now, you're going to just do this a little bit of a tightening. This is the actual the only trick to uh, the auto chokes. Is that guy right there has to screw into there without undoing the spring, my friends. And then the choke arm has to go into that hole right there. I don't, because of, everything has a reason, right? I know you can't see, very good, but this bolt, uh, can't get at it with a, with a ratchet without kicking the hood off, so I'm just going to use this quarter inch, I'll make sure everything's lined up in the slot, it's three ball. I won't get tightened up. Or am I right there? Yes, I'm right there. And here, I was getting worried there. Now, that should still have some spring to it. Let's let the gas go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Got to plug it in first. That's good. That gets rid of any water that's potentially in there, isn't it? Get this cable clamp or hose clamp back on, and we're ready for the cover. Where's that devil? And then we need a five sixteenths with two bolts. One, two. And it should run better than it did. And I always, with carburetors, I always put the, uh, I don't like to tighten it up too much with the impact. I like to tighten stuff up with the hands. Whoops. Hey, that should run like a dream now. Choke's closed. I'm not going to run it for long up here. But, oh, we better just lower it down a little bit just for safety. Okay, safety now. Well, that was an interesting... Uh, they were almost done, this guy. Air filter, spark plug. And uh, sharp blade sharpen. From a jack to a king. doesn't even bounce.
It's a nice mower. Made in 2014. The last of the best Briggs Quantum. Uh, just had too much oil in it and that just infused the whole engine with oil. And also the Welch plug fell out of the carburetor. I don't know if that helped, but it's running steadier now with my RPM checker. Checker, it's at 3200 RPM. Well, actually 3180 dead on, not varying at all. And it was varying before, so there could have been water in the fuel or anything because uh, this fuel, if you look right into the center, has water in it. So it sat, but uh, that's a nice lawnmower now, guys. Always was, right?